OS X includes a great all-purpose image application called Preview. Preview is the default application when opening PDFs, images, and more. You can find Preview in the Applications folder or from Launchpad, choose Preview. Preview asks you for an image to open. I'll open a photo that I've imported earlier. Preview allows you to crop, rotate, and adjust your images. You can do this from the Tools menu. Choosing Adjust Size allows you to choose a new size for your image. I'll undo that change. You can also crop. To crop, show your editing tools if they're not being shown by clicking this button. Choose the rectangular selection. Draw a selection, which you can modify if you need. And then choose Tools, Crop. You can then save your photo or choose File Export to save a different file type. You can also use Preview to remove the background from photos. For instance, if you have a product shoot and you're shooting things on a white background, or if you have an image that you need to get rid of the background, try Preview. I want to open this image in Preview. I'll first drag it to the desktop to save it, double click it to open in Preview, and I'll go full screen. I can use Command Plus or Command Minus on the keyboard or two fingers on my trackpad to zoom. I'll show the editing toolbar and click the magic wand. This tool is called Instant Alpha. All I have to do is click and drag and choose the background. Once the background is selected, I'll press the delete key. Keep in mind only certain image formats support transparencies. PNG is one of those files and Preview automatically will convert our image to a PNG file. If we want to get rid of the text at the bottom, back in the edit toolbar, let's choose the lasso. Click and drag to create a selection around the text and press delete. I'll exit from full screen mode and shrink my image a bit. I can now see the image doesn't have a background. I can now composite this or insert it into an image with text and the text will flow right around the image. I'll choose File, Export. Ensure that PNG is selected with Alpha checked and export it to my desktop. Now, using an application like Pages, I'll create a new document. I'll then drag in my photo, open the inspector by clicking the inspector button, and then remove the picture frame, and I can see the text now flows right around the shoe. Another great feature in Preview is the ability to work with PDFs. I have a non disclosure agreement that I might need to make some changes to. I can highlight using the highlighter. I can also create annotations. I can use squares, circles, lines, shapes, and more. One thing I can do is add text using a text box. I'll click and drag and put today's date. If I need to change the font, I can show the font inspector. And one of the coolest features in Preview is the ability to sign documents. To sign a document, you first need to take a plain sheet of paper, and from the Signatures menu, I'll choose Create Signature. Sign the piece of paper and hold it up to the built-in camera on your computer. Click Accept, and now click and drag to add your signature to a document. Save the document, and you can send it back to the owner. Preview also allows you to open multiple documents at one time. I'll select a group of files and press Command down on the keyboard to open them at one time. I can scroll through my photos or view them as a contact sheet. If I like, I can choose View 
Slideshow, and view them as a slideshow. You can also use Preview to edit your photos. From Tools, choose Adjust Color. Using the heads-up display, you can adjust exposure, contrast, remove highlights, brighten shadows, adjust the saturation, color temperature, tint, add sepia to your photos, and adjust the sharpness. Preview also has two automatic features for color. First, I can choose Auto Levels to automatically adjust the levels or lighting in my photo, and I can use the eyedropper to adjust the tint. Click the eyedropper, and Preview asks you to choose a neutral gray portion of your image. Click until you get it right. When you're done, you can save your document.